Welcome to this tutorial for the Beechcraft Model 18 for MSFS. This aircraft is currently available for purchase on the marketplace. This tutorial is from a runway start with engines on and we've planned our flight in the world map. We're flying from Osaka to Nagoya in Japan. Before we take off we'll run through some quick pre-flight with the Garmin 530 because we'll be using its navigation and approach functions in this flight. First up on the radio panel to the right hand side of the Garmin 530 we'll set our destination ILS frequency. For runway 18 it's 109.70. If we now check the flight plan page of the Garmin 530 we can use the right hand scroll wheel to check that our flight plan has fed through properly from the world map. You can see that our departure, en route waypoints and approach are correctly configured. So we have a flight plan from our departure runway all the way through to our arrival runway. As we return to the main map page, a very quick tip, you can of course use the map zoom buttons to zoom in and out of your navigation display. We'll also use the left hand scroll wheel to set our ILS frequency on the Garmin 530 as well. I'm not sure which one the sim actually uses so it's safer to tune both. An important note if you want to use nav mode on this plane you'll need a hotkey assigned to autopilot nav 1 hold. Ok with the systems explained it's time to take off. As with any tail dragger I find takeoff a little bit sketchy in the Beechcraft 18. Generally bring the throttles up to full and the plane will naturally want to take off. When it does the winds will start to take it so just manage that with ailerons and rudder to establish a steady rate of climb in level flight. Once you have that positive rate bring the landing gear up. With takeoff complete it's now time to enable our autopilot. So first of all we'll place the airplane in pitch mode and activate the autopilot master. This can either be the switch on the yoke or a hotkey you've assigned. Use the pitch trim scroll wheel to place the aircraft in a 10 degree climb. Once you're in a steady climb hit the autopilot nav hold hotkey and the airplane will follow the flight plan set on the GPS. As we climb I'll explain a little bit more about the Garmin 530. It does have a direct to function where you can select any of the waypoints in your plan and hit the enter key followed by activate to confirm to head direct to the waypoint you've selected. If you change your mind no problem just hit the direct to key and you'll be returned to the map. The Beechcraft 18 has a service ceiling of about 20,000 feet but for this flight we will put the aircraft into altitude hold mode and cruise at around 16,000. Once in altitude hold mode the aircraft will level off and you can leave the throttles fully forward. As we get to the approach waypoints on our flight plan, the plane automatically activates its approach procedure. But if for some reason in flight you want to activate your approach early or change your approach, you can do this in the procedures page. As usual, use the right hand scroll wheel to select your transition and approach, and you could then either load or activate it. VNAV prediction isn't currently working in the MSFS Garmin 530, so your descent will be directed by ATC. When given your descent, just put the aircraft in pitch mode and trim the nose down. Pitch down to about 5 degrees and bring the throttle back slightly to maintain your speed. As we descend, I'll give a very quick guide about how to read an analog altimeter if you're unfamiliar. As with an analog watch, the smaller the hand, the bigger the unit it represents. The smallest hand represents tens of thousands. So say you're at 20,000 feet, this hand will be over the number 2. The mid-size hand represents thousands of feet, so we're currently at 4,000. And the largest hand represents hundreds of feet, which is rapidly decreasing during our descent. We'll call our bottom of descent 2,500 feet, so we'll place the plane into altitude hold mode and it will level off here. Once it levels off, we'll increase the throttle a little bit to maintain our speed. An important note before we start our approach. For approach mode to work correctly you'll need to assign toggle autopilot approach hold to a key. As you get closer to your destination you can slow the aircraft down to its approach speed of around 85-90 knots. You can drop the landing gear and apply approach flaps which are full flaps. To start your final approach just before your last turn towards the runway Press the CDI button on the Garmin 530 to change navigation source from GPS to localizer. 
At this point, also press your autopilot approach hold hotkey. The plane will now turn to follow the localizer and the glide slope will also be armed. When the airplane reaches the glide slope, the glide slope light, which is just to the top left of the PFD, will illuminate and the plane will start to descend on the glide slope. At this point, manage your throttle to keep your approach speed low. As you reach the runway threshold, start to flare a little. You can keep the autopilot on to help with the lateral deviation pretty much until the point of touchdown. Although, as you'd expect, this plane doesn't auto land. Once you're ready to touch down, just back off the throttle and disengage the autopilot. Bear in mind that as soon as you do disable the autopilot, the aircraft becomes a little bit more susceptible to the wind, so you'll need to work the rudder quite hard to keep it straight. As soon as you touch down, the aircraft should start to pitch backwards as it goes to rest on its tailwheel. And that concludes our tutorial for the Beechcraft Model 18. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please drop a like and feel free to subscribe as I make this kind of content fairly regularly. Take care and I'll see you next time.